Game music has come a long way, and certain things have been lost along the way. With a move towards more cinematic and context-sensitive tracks in the AAA space. Most of my fondest memories in gaming have to do with music. Music binds the whole experience together. I've always resented the notion that video game tunes aren't considered real music. Some people really have no clue what they're talking about. This is Yon, and today, let's count down the best, best video, video game, game soundtracks, soundtracks ever that I've listened to so far. Number 10! Hotline Miami 1 and 2. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lump these two together, unless I wanna go mad trying to figure out which one has the better soundtrack. The music in both games are 100% in sync with their brutal and fast-paced gameplay, as well as with their psychedelic graphical aesthetics. I really think you'd be at a disadvantage playing these challenging games on mute because the energy from the tracks help you pull through after dozens of failed attempts. It's like workout music that drops at the perfect moment to give you that last bit of push. It's scientifically proven. Number 9 Gravity Rush 1 and 2 Kohei Tanaka, the composer of both games, is a genius. I haven't listened to a lot of his work, but the tunes he provided for Gravity Rush are just so beautiful and magical. There's a sense of majesty and elegance in the tracks that I don't hear in any other franchise. He also composed the soundtrack for the Gunbuster series, and his style works phenomenally there too. There's something eerily similar about the two Musically Bound series that I've always suspected that someone in either production copied the other's homework. And I'm not complaining. Number 8 Cave Story I can't sing enough praises for this game or its developer, Pixel. He wrote the audio software used to make the game soundtrack, that he composed. That's one loaded statement. The songs just have so much personality, from the boppy tunes in the bushlands to the melancholic melodies of the moon song. I just can't get enough of it. Number 7 The Blob this is a game about being a blob of some sort, bringing color into the world by dipping yourself in paint and rubbing yourself onto things. And the soundtrack is off the fucking hook. I know I talk shit about contextual music in modern games, but this game's take on it is a total exception. Depending on what color you are, you can alter the accent tunes that play with the main track. For example, red is the sound of a saxophone, Purple is an electric guitar, and brown is funky record scratching sounds. <laughs> My favorite. The soundtrack and how they implemented it in this game gives me so much joy and a reason to dance all night long. Number 6 Shadow of the Colossus The soundtrack in Shadow of the Colossus is very minimal. Most of the time, the game is very quiet. Only ambience and the feeling of isolation fills the air. This puts emphasis on the moments in the game where music actually plays. That is, when the five-story stone behemoth is about to make a human pancake out of you. Epic is a word that has been abused down to the ground, but I really can't find another word to describe the sheer adrenaline that kicks in when you're grabbing onto the Colossus's fur, being flung around like a rag doll in this place. Number 5 Power Quest I gotta be honest, I use a lot of music from this game for my videos. I just can't help it. I believe that this game has the best music out of every game in the Game Boy and Game Boy Colors library. That includes giants like Pokemon and Zelda games. It's that good. Japan Supply Systems, the developer, managed to push the Game Boy's audio's hardware to its limits 
I wish more people talked about this game. It's truly amazing. Number four. Mighty Switch Force 2. I listened to the original Mighty Switch Force soundtrack and thought it couldn't be talked. That is until I listened to the sequel soundtrack. The game is a tiny niche action puzzler that can be beaten in about an hour or two, so I don't blame anyone if they haven't heard of it. Vert, the composer, is better known for his work in the Shantae series and Shovel Knight, but I implore you to not sleep on this game, at least not on its soundtrack, because music this good should be illegal. Number 3 Minecraft I mentioned in the top indie games video that one of my fondest memories in Minecraft was when I died and had to find my way back to my corpse and home. What I didn't specify was why would a stressful situation like that make for a fond memory? As I was slowly inching my way towards my base across a vast and unknown landscape, the track Sweden started to play and it left an impression on me that I still remember vividly to this day. The music is so somber that I have my own headcanon for the game, You're a Lone Man, that was put into a lonely world full of adventure, threats, and blocks, without explanation, and you have to craft and fight your way to survival. This picture of a melancholic Minecraft world is probably not what they're going for, but I always hold on to it as I venture into a new world in this game. Number 2 The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time This is probably the least controversial pick of this list. It's hard to hate on something that is so universally cherished and agreed upon. Kochi Kondo's songs are brimming with adventure, mysticism, and each one has a story to tell. The Hyrule Field theme gives a sense of wonder and delight for the things to come. The Forest Temple's theme is uncanny and mysterious, but also calming and serene. And the Ocarina songs that you gather along the way lull you into a fairy tale. You feel like an adventure on a grand quest in a fantastic land. Before we unveil my top video game soundtracks ever that I've listened to so far, I would like to list some honorable mentions. Mega Man X Banjo-Kazooie Toho 6 Wind Waker Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. Wario Land 3. Number 1! Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger. Similar to Ocarina of Time, the Chrono series has songs that essentially chronicles a journey across space and time. The music guides the player through multitudes of eras and dimensions. While Trigger has music that leans more on the playful and colorful side, Cross has music that is more emotionally charged. In Chrono Cross, you meet a woman who has given up her dreams of becoming a world-renowned poet. You then later travel to a parallel world and speak to her double, a version of her that has decided to actually pursue her dreams and became successful. She writes an encouraging short poem for her other self and tells you to relay it to her. This touching scene is complemented by a wistful tune and I find inspiration from it to this day. The series is packed with moments like this. Yasunori Mitsuda is an amazing composer and fought for his right to compose for Chrono Trigger. And we all benefit from the fruits of his determination. Thanks for watching folks! What's your favorite video game OST? And what game soundtracks do you think I missed out on? Be sure to leave your comments. Also, if you want to see me play these awesome games live, then be sure to check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash sunshineyome. I'll see you there.